In Bangalore, the innovative use of biogas is helping reduce household smoke and improve health. It's also creating sustainable livelihoods for women living in some of the country's poorest areas. The southern city of Bangalore is India's technology capital and home to more than five and a half million people. Spurred on by the IT revolution, the city's burgeoning economy and job prospects draws young people away from its surrounding rural areas. When Vidya Sagar left his mother's farm for the city, he trained and practiced as a chartered accountant, but he always hoped he would be able to give something back one day. When I was a child, I used to sit with my mother when she was cooking for us. She used to cook on traditional wood-burning stove, so using firewood, emitting a lot of smoke. Then I decided there are many women like my mother, so I should help all of them to cook without this uh, smoke. And there would be many children like me, so let me help them all. Then I come across this biogas plant, whereby we can use the available dung and gives a clean kitchen to the women. Besides creating dirt, smoke also irritates the eyes and can cause chest infections. This is a national problem because in India, the main medium of cooking is firewood. Collecting fuel wood is not only time consuming, with villagers forced further and further afield in their search for scarce wood, it is also wrecking the environment. Children often help their mothers scour the outskirts of their villages for wood, and they complain about being late for school, sometimes arriving without having had time for breakfast. Collecting firewood is a great loss for me. I don't have time for reading or homework. Anxious to find a solution, Vidya began installing biogas plants over 20 years ago. It takes about a week for the construction of each gas plant. Two trained masons build the structure using materials supplied by villagers. The base of the tank is concrete and its dome made from locally produced bricks. Cow dung, readily available in rural areas, is used as fuel leading to a cleaner environment. This is an inlet tank in which we mix dung with water in one is to one ratio and once you remove this uh, lid, uh, the slurry goes into the plant. This mix is left overnight and by morning methane gas is being produced. You see here, this is spent slurry, is the formation of methane and this is useful for creating pressure on the gas. The gas flows through a pipe from the top of the dome into the house where it can be used immediately for safe clean cooking. The tank produces slurry. This is mixed with fibrous materials and processed by worms in a vermi composting unit, producing a high quality organic compost. It's the women who have seized the opportunity to make the most of the compost and they are now running a successful business. Previously we had a problem with money. After I got the vermi composting unit, there's less of a problem. When I was 14, my father fell ill and there were lots of money problems. I stopped studying, my father died, and after that we got the unit. Now I'm working on this producing compost. By selling the compost, we get some money. And with that, I can support my younger brother and sister's studies. By selling fertilizer to farmers, women have doubled their income. The compost is being used on crops like coffee. Farmers are reporting increased yields of up to 30% and claim they can charge more for their improved produce. So far, Vidya has installed more than 50,000 tanks. Over the next five years, he plans to build another 50,000. His future ambition is to spread the word and involve more women. I feel very happy. So because of Austin Award, we will have a chance to expand our program to other districts, other states, and to the entire country. At the same time, we plan to construct one training center for the women who are going to have this unit. So, I definitely get excited.